All right, in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to remap your motors on your flight controller. Um, this is if you have um, pads that have came off on the signal pads of your flight controller. As you can see here, <laughs> um, this flight controller has had the pads soldered on one too many times and the pads ended up coming up. Now I have soldered many 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 flight controllers and I gotta say I think it's just this flight controller is the reason why they came off so easy because also um, the buzzer pads came off and that was after one time of soldering them so um, I think there was just I just got a bad flight controller but anyway, so you can see, um, I'm not sure which ones, I think two, three, and four, and then on the underside, one, oh no, wait, let me see, yeah, it looks like the pads are there because there's solder there, but the pads are not there, so, like in three, you can see it, and one, the pad's gone. So I'm not going to take any chances and try to using one that may or may not be there. I'm just going to move 1 through 4 over to 5 through 8. Um, so don't get this confused with <clears throat> the other kind of remapping. Um, you, have to do, you have to have Betaflight 3.1, which isn't even released yet, but it's going to be released soon. But any previous versions of Betaflight when you remap the motors you're not actually moving the pads what you're doing is telling Betaflight which motor is which one so that doesn't work for when you have a bad pad but this does but only with Betaflight 3.1 which isn't released yet so what you have to do let me plug this in USB first And I already have the bootloader, uh, have it in bootloader mode, so it's ready to be flashed. So um, I'm going to go to firmware flasher. And this is a Flip32 F3, which uses SP Racing target. So click on that and then you want to make sure you click on show unstable releases but once 3.1 comes out you won't need to do this it'll just be in here but you can see right now it's not the newest one is 3.0.1 so click on show unstable releases and then you got 3.1 RC11 yesterday it was RC10 <clears throat> so anyway 3.1, I got no reboot sequence, full chip erase, manual baud rate, load firmware online, and flash firmware. <clears throat> this takes forever with this board. I'll be back when it's towards the end. and programming successful so <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is unplug the USB remove the bootloader pin thingy I got here and click on welcome plug the USB back in click connect and we're ready to go. So once you're in here, you want to go to the CLI. Um, and then the first thing you want to do is type resource. Hit enter. And then it shows what motors are what. And then you also want to type in resource space list. Okay, so 
you want to, so I want to move one through four to five through eight. So the first thing I want to do is free up um, motor one. So I'm going to type resource, or I'm sorry, free up, free up pad five is what I want to do. So type resource space motor space five space and then um, the word none n o n e and then hit enter and it says resources freed if it doesn't say that you didn't type it right um, try again so <clears throat> now that uh, I freed up pad 5 I want to go up here and find my motor 1 and motor 1 right next to it it says A06 so then I want to type in resource space motor one I'm sorry I I messed up I want to look at motor five not one <laughs> motor five says B zero eight okay so that's what I want to type in so I'm telling it to change motor one to pad five so resource space motor space one space B zero eight enter and then it says resource is set to B08. So B08 said motor five. So now motor one is at motor five. So now for motor one signal wire, I'm gonna be soldering it to the signal on pad five, motor five. So then you wanna do that for the, re the other three or whichever ones you need to do it for. So I gotta do it again, resource, motor, Six, none, and then resource motor two, and then I got to find out what six was B zero nine. So B zero nine. Now two is set to six resource motor seven none resource motor three and then motor seven was a zero two resource motor eight none resource motor four and then motor eight is a03 enter resource set to a03 so and then you type save and hit enter and that's all you do now Motors one through four are set to pads five through eight on the flight controller. That's all you need to do.